Guys, welcome to the hands-on demo session on Load Runner. This is Kumar here, and this demo session is brought to you by softwaretestinghelp.org. So right now, let's uh, get into the demo part. Let me open my application under test. Well, let's assume that's my application under test, or in other words, this is the application which I'm about to test or which I'm about to do the performance testing. Well, let's log into this application using a username called Jojo and password called Bean. I've logged in. If you are a functional tester, you would be checking the functionality of that login. When I said functionality, maybe you'll enter a valid username, valid password, and see if you're able to log into the application. Or maybe you'll enter an invalid username or a valid password and try to log in and then it is supposed to give an error message. You'll be checking all that. But as a performance tester, we wouldn't really be interested in that sort of things. What we will be interested as a performance tester is how fast you're able to log into that application or how slow you're able to log into that application. Fast is always good and slow, definitely not good and you have to do something about it. So right now, for this demo purposes, let's try to capture uh, how fast or how slow you're able to log into the application. So by the way, we call this as response times. How fast or how slow you're logging to the application, that's called response times. So we're gonna create a small uh, demo just to capture the response times for this login functionality, okay? For purpose of capturing the response times, what I need is virtual user generator. And this is a very important component of Load Runner. I've just invoked it. And uh, yeah, this is how a virtual user generator looks like. So what I'm about to do right now is, I'm, I will capture or I will create the script so that when I execute that script, I'll be logging into the application. Now, to create the script, there are a couple of options. You can start coding it. Uh, if you're really good with the language called TSL. Or there is a very easier way and the HP people have made our lives easier. The easier way is to record those steps or capture that functionality or record those steps. And the tool itself will create the script for you. And every time you play back the script, you will be logging into the application. Well, if you're wondering how it works, uh, I can give you an example. Uh, probably 10 years back, nowadays everybody has CDs and all that, or even more, even better. Uh, but uh, 10 to 15 years back, you know, we used to have these tape recorders. Wherein, if you want to capture the voice, even today that's how it works, but I'm talking about tape recorders because uh, it's a very good example. So you want to capture your voice, okay? So you put a cassette in, into it and then click on the record button and then you can talk over it. And once you're done talking or singing, you can stop recording and then you can play back the same thing any number of times and you will be able to hear what you have spoken or sang. Similarly, here also, you do something called recording, but this is on your application under test and well recording, whatever you do on the application under test, for example, you are launching the page, it will capture the script for the launching the page. And while recording, you're logging into the application under test, it will capture the script for uh, that part which is logging into the script. So while the record is on, whatever you do on the application under test, all that will be captured by the VUGen in the form of the script. And why are we doing this? So that you can play back any number of times. And when you play back uh, the script, whatever the functionality that you have captured, you're playing back. Suppose you have recorded the login part and when you play back, it will log into the application. So that's how it works. So right now I'm gonna go demonstrate how to do that recording part and also how to capture that response times. So first, what I have to do is I have to create the script I'm going to give a meaningful name to this. 
let me call it as login underscore script because that's what I'm about to capture. It will take certain time to create the script for you and you can see in this solution explorer the new script that you have created shows up. There are multiple files that will be created. We can talk about each of those files and what is the purpose of those files but we will do that in our classes. But for now just assume that these actions, actions are the placeholder for your scripts or in other words whatever the script that is being recorded or generated will be stored in these actions. Okay, so I'm going to select this action called action and I'm going to go ahead and record it or click on the record button. And you see whatever you are recording, you are recording into the action called action. You're going to use the browser called Explorer, Internet Explorer and that's my application under test. So I'm going to go ahead and start recording. And whatever the window that you see here, guys, I'm moving it. It is VueGens, okay? And this is my application under test. And this dialog box is related to the VueGen. And you see here this number, it is increasing, which means that the tool is able to identify this application under test and it is compatible with this application under test and whatever you are seeing it is capturing it that's what it means so you want this number to increase all the time okay whenever you do something on the application you would want this number to be increased and the recording is happening in the action called action so now i'm about to log in guys so as i've told you i want to capture the response times for this login or in other words how fast or how slow you're able to log into this application is something that I wanted to see. For doing that, what you do is you have to do a couple of things before you log in and after you log in. So I'm about to log in. So I'll do this thing. Just hit on this button for creation of something called start transaction. Okay, I give a name. So I'm about to log in. So I'm going to capture the response times for login. So I'm going to give this name as login underscore response time so I want to capture the response times for login so I'm going to give that name to it and just click on OK and now I'm going to go ahead and log in and after the login is done whatever the transaction that you have started you just have to end it okay click on this end transaction button and that's what the name that you have given for this login trans login underscore response time or login underscore RT and then you have ended. So I'm going to stop recording now because I wanted to capture uh, the response times for only login. So that's what I have captured. So now this is the script that is executed uh, that is being captured. Sorry. So what I'm interested is how much time does it take for you to log in? And the name, remember guys, what you have given? Login underscore RT. So we're going to go ahead and execute this script and see if the tool is able to capture the response times for logging in. So go ahead and play back it. Again, it is very, very simple. Just go and hit on this replay button. And there you go. The script is executing now. Now the script execution is completed. Let's gonna fish around a little bit or search around a little bit to get that response times for logging in. How slow or how fast it is. So there are there are a couple of places that you can check for the response times for login. The easiest one is to go to this output log replay log. So every single program when you execute it, there is an output. And you wanted to see the output, you have to look at the output log. So this load runner is no different. 
So we have this output log. Let's go to this output log to see how long it's going to take for that login function. As you can see here, login underscore RT is the name that we have given for logging in. And how long it has taken? It has hardly taken any time, which is just 0.21 seconds. So that is incredibly fast. So it is one fifth of the second that it is taking to log in. The application is super fast. So if, is there any industry standards for this response times? Yes, guys, there is. Usually, if the application is taking less than two seconds, then we call these applications are fast. And any application wherein the response times is greater than two seconds, then we say this application is little slow. So here we have figured out that the, our application is super fast. Thanks guys for joining for the demo and we will see you in the class. Goodbye.